cute name. I see what they did there. So you can get away with that kind of foul mouth when you're an alien. What kind of alien? Well, apparently one that's stocking up for a cookout because you need meat in epic proportions. Sure, you could just go to the store, but where's the fun in that? You want fresh, you want wholesome, you want your lamb, ham, steak, and other comestibles on the hoof. Rather than dealing with any such auction or other legitimate business, you're just gonna steal them. Because you're an alien. Get the spacecraft and everything to prove it. Grab the mint jelly, folks. It's time to flock. Yeah, if you thought that was suggestive, I probably shouldn't mention that the gumdrop-shaped vessel that you're herding these sheep toward is called the Mother Flocker. Oh, wait, I just mentioned it. Aside from using a trigger to speed up, all you can really do is incite the sheep to move by hovering near them. Since you're a frickin' flying saucer. What animal wouldn't be alarmed by that nonsense? They've seen the Far Side comics. They know which way's up and which way's away from the saucer craft. So they'll do their best to run away from you, and it's your job to make sure that away from you ends up being into the tractor beam of the mother flocker. There, I said it again. Your abduction attempt is judged by the quantity of biological samples obtained, whether you clear out the entire stage or merely fulfill your quota, as well as the space of time it takes you and your super technological sciencey stuff. Later levels bring on different forms of livestock, as well as obstacles like fences, ramps, geysers, catapults, a whole toolbox of absurd animal rustling equipment. Now, if only there were a fully featured level editor. Ba bam! Flock yeah. Got a new and interesting idea on how to torment livestock? Don't dream it, build it. Then play it, share it on XBLA, and potentially get a job designing slaughterhouses or apartment buildings. It's a very good puzzle game. Simple rules, challenging, but fair execution. And then you can introduce catapults and just make everything go nuts. That's fine too. My only gripe about the game is that the load times can get a little on the long side, especially if you're playing it from the Capcom Digital Collection disc and not from a direct download. But even this issue would go away if someone could invent me a combination tractor beam and rotisserie. Being able to roast a lamb chop from across the room would be optimal. 